Okay, I have to admit, I've been cruising Pinterest for ideas for the interior of Buddy. And I saw wood floors. And first I saw slat floors. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of cool, except it looks like the bottom of a camp shower. And then I saw someone that did wood flooring in their VW Bug. And I thought, I can do that because I have a leftover box from a flooring project I did about 12 years ago. And here it is. And all I did, oops, a little sun there. All I did was uh, glue these together. Uh, so they stay together in panels. I'll show you that in a second. Take my rubber floor mat and draw the outline and slip it in. Except it didn't slip in. I had to do some extra cutting. Um, had to clear some space up there around the uh, the brake pedal and clutch pedal. Had to, of course, not do behind the gas pedal. And had to slip it in behind the uh, heater vent down here. But not too bad. I will show you what I did um, to do this on the passenger side. The back seat, um, since we've got this transitional slope here, I'm just gonna do the rectangle back here in the main part of the footwell. Um, and I might not even do that today. We'll see what kind of time I have. I'm doing okay though, this, this didn't take long. Um, you know, it takes about two hours or so for the glue to really set up. Overnight's even better, I did this one overnight. And uh, traced it out with a pencil, cut it out with a jigsaw and uh, zip zap zop you got yourself a nice wooden floorboard I, I was going to put the uh, the rubber mats back underneath but I'll just save them I'll just set them aside um, and uh, we'll go from here I might uh, I'll probably leave the rubber in the back I will do that because this part you know I've got my sound deadening underneath there um, just to keep it black underneath the seat but I think it worked out pretty well for me let me show you what I did so this piece I just got all glued up and uh, every wood flooring is different. This is laminate flooring, but every laminate flooring is different. I, I thought about the bamboo, but then, you know, I got to spend another, you know, 50, 100 bucks on bamboo flooring. But uh, basically there's a little, a little um, groove here that the other piece slides into. I just put some tight bond uh, waterproof in there and glue it together on this seam, which is going to be in the middle here. That, um, is an end seam I glued that also and just clicked these together and I've just got it sitting out here in the sun to dry out a bit and uh, then what I'm gonna do is uh, put the other mat on here and trace it out let me go get that and I'll I'll show you all right so I've got the passenger side floor mat laid down here and I'm just now seeing I oversprayed some glue <laughs> when I was doing the carpet but um, I'm trying to figure out, you know, where the best position is. Where do I want seams and things? And I don't think I want this little piece over here, but I really don't want a little piece along the whole edge. And do I just put it in the middle and cut it out or utilize the factory straight edge on this? And uh, I think if I put it square up here, um, there's some errors in the factory cut here which is interesting to see but uh, if I think if I put it like that I'll have a little thin edge along the way and a little corner up here but I don't think they're in places where they're gonna see a lot of stress it's inside a car anyway it's not gonna be a ton of stress and uh, <clears throat> so I just take the pencil and just go along the edge here and what I learned on the other one is I actually want to cut inside the line on this I am um, I realized that it needs to be just a little bit smaller than what the rubber shows and if I did that right I did let me get a little better line over here couldn't quite see this one with the grain of the fake wood. There we go. Now all I have to do is cut that out and uh, do a little sanding and we've got ourselves a wooden floor mat uh, for a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, another interesting part of this, if you decide to do it, is that I had to pull out the driver's seat to get that in there. There was no way to, to slide it underneath the, uh, the brake and clutch pedal and get it to sit down back here. Also, I had to work it around my little uh, 
heat control here. I have a 71. Um, early years didn't have this, they just had a hole. So just to let you know, you might have to take out the front seat to do this and uh, to get yours in there. Okay, so we've got our panel. I'm gonna try not to step in front of the camera too much here. And I'm sure you know how to cut things out, but I'm just gonna do it anyway and show you what I'm doing. Pro tip, if you don't want to scratch up your wood, uh, put some masking tape on the underside of your, your tool. <laughs> it's already coming off here, but just keeps it from, from scratching uh, in different places. Let's do it. this way. Another thing in woodworking, don't put your tools down on top of the piece you're working on like I just did. Another thing here, I'm using a uh, sheet metal bit on my jigsaw um, that way it doesn't chip up the edge too much and i'm going to take my belt sander to this anyway and that will make it even better save this chunk because I might be able to get a back out of it. And I want to go along this edge because that's where uh... that's where the edge of the stock mat was. I may have scratched that a little bit. That could just be tape. And I know I'm looking look like I'm doing this real sloppy, and I kind of am. But that's because we've got a belt sander. fairly straight for that.
the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll these three corners here. So that's just our first cut uh, based on the floor mat. The floor mat's a little thinner. It's going to fit a little differently. And we just want to see. That's just some tape residue on there. I got some 409 down here. will take care of it. And we'll just go see how this fits. So here we go. We got our floor. We've got our wooden floor mat. And might need to. Oh, there we go. Ta-da. That one fit a lot better and a lot easier than the than the driver's side. But now we've got beautiful wood floors inside of our 71 Beetle. Gorgeous. I like it. it. Took about an hour of work to put all this together. Not too shabby. So now we've got our scrap piece left over from the uh, passenger side. And the thing to note here, of course, is that the uh, rears are not squares. They are rhomboids of some sort. So this might be a square edge down here, but this is not a square edge. This has a dive to it. And also you've got the channel here for the kick panel. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not coming back to the channel. I'm coming back to in front of the channel. So that's gonna be my, my edge uh, for the rear. And then I'm just gonna measure here. I think this is plenty of distance. I think the slope starts somewhere down here. So I just need to go measure that that uh, where that slope starts, because I can't bend this wood up. I could, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> I say it like I'm a superhero. One could, if one could figure out a way, they could maybe cut this and put it up there. It's underneath the seat, I don't care about it. I just want a little bit of wood in the back uh, too for um, passengers and crap that falls down there to make lots of noise as it rolls around. <clears throat> but that's what we're gonna do. So let me measure this and I'll get that length and I'll just put a mark there and we will square that off uh, and it'll be gorgeous. Well, since I've got the back seat out, this will be so much easier to measure. I think that slope starts right around here somewhere. I'll probably just go to top of this guy right here. It looks like the slope starts about there. Um, I'll redo the padding in the, uh, in the seats. They're starting to lose their stuff. They pull out measuring tape here and going from the kick panel forward to about where that slope starts. Oops, looks to be about 15 inches, which will probably work okay. You know, if I want to do 15 and a quarter, they'll take me right to this line here. But you know, really, if I go 13 inches, I'm, I'm well in the safe zone. That will be, you know, 13 inches is about here on this seat. So there's still a lot of seat covering that up. So let's go, uh, let's go 13 and try that and see how that works. The other great thing about 13 inches is that that's about how much material we have here. So if I go from this edge, to 13 inches here and I don't have a straight edge there yet so we'll mess around with this and get this where we where we need it to cut it I want to I want to cut this edge straight so I come out the same but roughly 
you know, in this area somewhere. I've got a square somewhere. Let me get my square and I can, uh, I can square up this edge too. All right, got my little square, which is enough. There you go, so now we'll just cut that square first and, and start from there. In the meantime, I've got another couple pieces of scrap panel here. Oops. And I'll just show you how I glue that up. You just put a little, you know, if you're doing an actual floor that, that you don't have to glue these, I've had to glue them on a the floor though because the, uh, they slide sometimes. And very simply, <laughs> you just get this down the groove like that. And it snaps in and we'll simply let that dry that's it I probably could have put some on the top of the bead too I'm I'm I mean I got waterproof glue I'm not expecting to need the waterproofness um, but that will do a uh, back seat just fine we've got plenty of room for that so uh, I'll get out this other one and uh, we'll let that sit up and dry Okay, so to do this one, I just gotta cut a straight line back here, and I'm gonna, I'll probably cut this one too. And then we'll just put the mat on here and get that line. And I'm a, boy, it's taking off my, uh, <laughs> peeling off my masking tape. I should put some new masking tape on there. But, uh, I'll just sand that bit off. Grab my square. And we decided on 13 inches. Get our square on there. This stuff takes a great pencil point. It's really nice for that. All right, I forgot to hold my piece at the end. That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna grind this down with a sander. Anyway, but let me get this last cut. which maybe we can even get rid of that. Yeah, we can get rid of the crap I did down there. By going there and there, and I just need this line right here. And again, it's not even cut out straight from the factory. It's like it came out of the mold someone cut it off I don't know if you can see that but there's there's a place up there where the uh, it's not even cut off straight I don't know maybe this was a uh, an over-the-hump mat at one time um, that someone cut out it, it does have carpet over the hump and it's factory carpet I've, I, I don't see that in any of the carpet kits for this year so I don't know what the deal is with that On the backs, I'm going to leave the uh, the rubber mat in because it helps hold in that rear kick panel. Now we got a train. We've got one train driver that comes by sometimes in the evening. He'll do shaving a haircut. It's just hilarious about the first five times. I think it's a little tedious, but it's cool that they have their own personality. So now I'm just gonna take the belt sander to this. And I'm just sanding to my line on this side because I didn't bother cutting it with the saw. It tends to make it kind of brown. And 
on that should be a rear floor mat. Wooden rear floor mat. Should go right there. Just like that. Let's get it in the car and see how it fits. And the other thing is we can probably take this, flip it over, draw on it, and we'll get the other side. I know this isn't the best in the world. This is an experiment with some extra stuff I had laying around. So looking at the rear, there's a couple things. One, I could have measured and got another half inch or so over there. Um, two, the rubber mat leaves that little welt there. So this kind of um, isn't up against the kick panel uh, unless I pull this forward and the kick panel goes there. Well, you know, somewhere in there is where this, this should sit. Focus. Focus. There we go. Um, number three is that my floor is not flat. And I got a little bend in there now. But you know what? Um, cheap is free. And uh, I think it's going to look great in the back there. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not that worried about it. Um, the backs weren't the most important anyway. The front was. I really wanted to get the front fairly nice. And I think they did come out fairly nice. I think they look good in there. So I'll cut the other side and get this all buttoned up with a seat in and get you some pictures. And here's the end result. I like it. I like the way it looks. Passenger. Driver's side. I'll probably replace the carpet. This is the original carpet from 1971. Glued it back up once. It's uh, sagging a little bit. I didn't use the high bond glue because I wanted to be able to take it out again. But it uh, looks all right. I'll, um, I think the salt and pepper is about as close as you can get to this original Volkswagen. It's not even really square weave. It's like this rubbery kind of stuff. Maybe it is a square weave, but I've never seen anything else like it like I have in this 71. But uh, I do like the floors. <laughs> and I can get a salt and pepper kit, you know, that's got the uh, uh, seven piece. Um, it's hard to find one with the hump, though. I, I never seen one with the hump carpeted. Uh, this one was stock carpeted. So I don't know. That's that's where I am on the interior right now. A little basket I got on sale. Thought I'd try it. Place to put my drink, my coffee in the morning. Uh, the back seat is kind of useless. <laughs> it's just. It's just back there, kind of to complete the picture, so it looks like you got, you know, continuous wood front to back. It looks okay. Um, no one's really going to see the back, but I do like the front. Find one in every car. You'll see.